Hey what's up everyone and welcome back to another video. Now today we'll be discussing the current matter and situation with Cristiano Ronaldo and what his future may bring after the World Cup. As you know, the situation with Ronaldo is very deep. So I'm going to be explaining it. There will be a, quite a bit of talking. And there will be some opinions on what I have on the matter at Ronaldo. But what it seems to be like is this is quite a deep matter. Like, I know what, we have been through it with Arsenal and some players and that not wanting to play for the club. But I've never seen anything quite like this. It is pretty, pretty deep this. I have to tell you from a mutual perspective. See the player, say how it is. Usually you'll just have players who break with Arsenal and Aubameyang. You had him break a disciplinary breach. And then, you know, leave the club and not say anything. With Ronaldo, you're having him leave matches early. Him spending time on the bench and him not getting along with the manager. It seems to me that he, this one, he is coming out and saying it how it is. He's saying how betrayed he feels by Man United. Probably not by the fans. I'll get on to that matter in a minute. But he's saying how he feels and how it is. He is speaking facts and Man United do not seem to like that. He returned, as you know, in 2021 and he was... And it was tipped to, pay, to take Man United to where they belong. It looked like they could finally win the league. Or so what we felt they heard. You know, because they had Ronaldo. That was it. The league's going to get torn apart. But it had not have gone that way. United were a big small last season. They were all over the place. And they finished in six. Now... Earlier, during that season, as the season grew on, and I'm going to say this right now, if it wasn't for Ronaldo that season, and they, he, they, would have stayed out of Europe, and that is a fact. But, he, the thing is with Ronaldo, is he, earlier, it was emerged now, that in mid-season, he, he told the manager clearly, Ralph Raniak, not to play a specific player because he's been because of and that because of the downfall of this club of that club and that he could see the direction the club was going in and that was nowhere he was saying look oh he wanted to leave if there was no Champions League football and there is none he wasn't allowed the Glazers wouldn't let him leave in the summer, and that has now led to him not really caring, not being motivated to play for Man United. He's spending a lot of time on the bench, keeping it warm. Now, one notable incident here was basically during the game against Spurs when Man United won 2 0. And I saw this as well with my own eyes. He basically has as soon as he came off, he, within minutes from normal time remaining, left the pitch and went straight down the tunnel. He had left the game early. So, in that respect, I would like to say well done to Ten Hag for taking the right man because you should not be leaving the match early. Whether you're winning 6-7-0, whether you're losing 7-0, you must stay in that bench if you're keeping it warm. Doesn't mean you go running down the tunnel and you know keep going down the pitch and you know keep breaking rules because that is a disciplinary breach right there and that. Now another thing this could just be a normal case of player a new manager coming and there's a particular player that doesn't want to fit the stall. Remember, this is not Ten Hogs, Man United. This is the players from their old 
regime. I can relate to that at Arsenal because that's what happened. That wasn't Mikel Arteta's team. So you had players like Gwen Dozy, You had players like Ozil. Players on high ranges like Bellerin and that. Not wanting to play for the club. Not caring because of simply they did not sit into the manager's system. And this looks like the case with Ronaldo. He's clearly not going to fit in the manager's si- system. Now, another thing is what he said about the Glazers, and it is very true indeed. The Glazers have ripped in to United. They have gone and taken the club to smithereens. The fans aren't happy. There's a protest nearly every game now. Reminds me of the situation at Newcastle before the Arabs, the Saudi Arabians took over. Look where they are now. Man United fans, and I know willingly well, that they will push to get the Glazers out of the club. And they are doing it now nearly every game. I can hear them, even for a League Cup game, we want the Glazers out. In fact, in 2021, they literally went onto the pitch during Covid, and they literally went on a mass protest, and think had escalated after the European Super League. Ronaldo attacked the Glazers and rightfully so. You might look at Old Trafford and the way it looks. You might look, wow, 70,000 fans. Brilliant stadium, but that's not what it, it seems. It's not what you know. It's not what you see, it's what you know. Many Man United fans have said, and even away fans, that Old Trafford is becoming run down. It needs new paint. It needs renovating in serious need of refurbishing. It's getting uncomfortable. New seats are needed. The Glazers are not willing to care about that. And you can see that. I know you see it on the TV, but it's not what you see, it's what you know. And what I know, according to fans, that Old Trafford, an iconic ground where champions have played, where great teams have played, played in the past. You know, David Beckham's free kick against Greece to get us into the 2002 World Cup. You know, all those sorts of things, some iconic moments and a st- with a, in a stadium now that is being run down. This is Old Trafford we're talking about here. And Ronaldo has gone and rightfully said, and here he has taken the side of the fans in this regard, and has simply said, the Glazers have betrayed Man... Well, he says Man United have betrayed him, but the Glazers have literally ripped money out of the club. They do not care. They do not care about Man United fans. And it is leading to their ultimate downfall and that. Now, another thing is, is now Ronaldo is Man United are taking legal out- action over Ronaldo's saying. And even Rafael Varane, a Man United player, has actually said that they have been affected by the situation. Now, the situation in terms of the video that had emerged with Portugal, where he was snubbing, where Bruno Fernandes, a Man United teammate, and now a Portugal teammate, as he played that his final World Cup, let me point that out, has literally snubbed each other, like refusing to shake hands. And that's, that could have an impact on the Portugal squad on a whole. Like, this is pretty deep, but terms of training that's not that deep it's not that bad but I don't think I've ever seen a situation with a player and a club this deep before and this is a great player as well an all round legend of the game has scored hundreds of goals and that you know this is what he's happening to him it, it could potentially tarnish his legacy and that and it doesn't ha- 
you know, it shouldn't have to end this way with him and the club at Man United. It should end a different way. But it looks like in January, the situation with Ronaldo and Man United is going to end that way. It is just crazy. Bizarre. I honestly don't know what to think. Should I take Ronaldo's side or should I take the manager's side? Well, in this situation, if if Ronaldo doesn't want to play for the club, maybe Man United should sack him. And that could be what happens. Terminate his contract and that. You know, an elite player you're doing this to. I'm seeing Arsenal fans saying, look, we should take him up. To be honest, look at our team with Mikel Arteta. We are four, five points clear at the top in in this break with a game in hand on Man City once we come out the other end of this break. And that is just madness. Do you want, in this current situation, Ronaldo at Arsenal right now? No, I, I probably wouldn't, because he just wouldn't get into the team. I'm sorry, I know he's a great player, but I'm happy with the current Arsenal team. Yes, we need some more depth, but now's not the chance. Now's not the right time. Don't listen to what Piers Morgan says. No, because in that interview, I didn't even watch it, and I can just know off the back. Do not listen to what Piers Morgan says. He seems to think, he seems to be like, oh, Ronaldo, you should come to Look, not right now. Mikel Arteta has other ideas. Arsenal fans are backing this project through and through with Arteta. They probably don't want that at Arsenal right now. And to be frankly honest, I don't. So, what I think is best now is for Ronaldo to just simply leave United. Maybe play a final game and just go now. Because, he's, because you know, he's not getting any game time. He says that he feels betrayed by United. But as he betrayed Man United himself, there's another answer. But I just cannot answer that, this question, you know. But here's the thing, only time will tell if he actually betrayed Man United or Man United betrayed him. I'm quite mutual on this, but I think the best thing is for him to just, you know, play one more game for the club, maybe. Maybe then agree to terminate his contract and then, you know, leave Man United once and for all and put this situation to bed. And the... And then let the Glazers back their manager if they care about their club. That's what I think. What are your thoughts on the situation with Ronaldo at Man United? And that. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Has he betrayed Man United or have Man United betrayed him? You know. So yeah, I would like for you to subscribe and follow all the upcoming World Cup content coming to this channel. See you in my next video and yeah, thank you for watching.